In today's video, I'm going to show you a strategy that I only use on London Session. Now, this strategy is so amazing, it is so simple, even a beginner could learn it. If you are struggling to be a profitable trader, watch this video to the end, I can guarantee you, you will find a strategy that works for you. Now, in today's video, I will go through a full breakdown of the strategy, a step-by-step -step breakdown so you guys can follow it and execute it in the live market for yourselves. And at the end of the video, I will include a couple live market examples where I've actually used the strategy to generate profits in the real live market. So let's get into the video. So the whole concept of this strategy is using the power of free. Now, I do have one other power free video on my channel. So if you'd like to, you can go watch that. However, I will be going through a rundown of the power free in today's video. So we have accumulation, which usually happens in Asian session. During Asian session, market likes to consolidate, form those equal highs, equal lows, which are normally manipulated, taken out during London session. The whole purpose of the manipulation phase is to take out the liquidity, which has been accumulated during the Asian session. So we accumulate liquidity, as you guys can see here, equal lows, equal highs. Now, support uh, retail traders will be selling right here as their resistance buying here as their support. So there's a lot of traders entered in positions here. This is what we call liquidity. There's a lot of liquidity in these regions. And for market to come back to this area, retail traders are going to sell right here. However, market will just continue moving out, taking out this liquidity, hitting their stop loss. Now, we get accumulation. Market generates engineers liquidity in the market to instigate retail buying or selling. Manipulation to take out that liquidity and distribution to distribute their position simply. Now, why do I specifically trade this strategy in London session? Now, as I've said earlier, during London session, we do form the energetic high or low of the day. I want to get involved in that high or low and be able to catch the distribution phase. As I told you guys, we want to enter during the manipulation phase so we can catch the distribution leg. So that, this is why I trade this strategy during London session. You will never be a funded trader because prop firms are designed to make you lose. There's a reason why 95% of people fail prop firm challenges. I just want to remind you guys that intake for the prop firm passing service is extremely limited because we can 100% guarantee to pass your funded challenge. I repeat guys, we can 100% guarantee to pass your funded challenge. We are even so confident that you do not have to pay us a single penny until we have passed your account. Remember guys, on the funded stage, you can trade real capital and make real money. Make those withdrawals straight into your bank account. Unlike other prop firms like FTMO, you have to make 15% on your account across two stages before you even start to touch a live account where you can start to even think about making profit. This can take months guys, you can waste a lot of money. The average person wastes $2,900 on funded challenges. Don't be this person. We will do the hard work for you. Once you guys are serious about trading and ready to make some real money, make sure you guys join the group, the first link in the description, and drop me a message at Ems Capitals. Now, I have made this strategy even simpler as I have outlined it in a simple three-step plan. Starting off with our step one, liquidity sweep into a PD array. Now, if you do not know what a PD array is, it is basically order blocks, fair value gaps, breaker blocks, anything of the sort, in premium or discount levels. Now, Starting off with our accumulation, as I told you guys earlier, market will engineer liquidity during the Asian session for it to be taken out by London session. So we want to see liquidity taken out either to the upside or downside. Now, guys, if we take liquidity to the upside, we are selling. If we take liquidity to the downside, we are buying. Now, in this scenario, as you can see, we've taken liquidity to the upside. This means we are looking for sales. This brings us on to our step two, which is our market structure shift. Now, if market is moving bullish, as you can see with our liquidity sweep, we want to see a change in trend to verify our trade, our bias to the downside. Now, if we want to take market lower, we need some sort of confirmation for market to tell us, yes, market will be going lower. This is our market structure shift. A market structure shift is simply a reversal pattern. Say if we are forming higher highs, higher highs, higher highs, and then we do get a change in trend, as you guys can see here. This would be our market structure shift as we form high, 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 boom. You start to get a higher low and lower lows. This is market changing and trend. This is our market structure shift, just to put it simply. It just would uh, indicate a reversal pattern in the market. So this brings us on to our step three, which is our entry. Now, 
I'm allowing you guys to be a little bit flexible on the entry, whether you want to enter off your fair value gap or your order block. Say there is an order block up here, which you would like to enter off, which market could tap into, which then you could sell off. However, if you just want to do the normal ICT entry model, which is market structure shift, displacement leg, fair value gap, enter off your fair value gap, 50% mark to be specific, you can do that, that is completely valid. And I think using either entry model can make you profitable and is very successful. All right, guys, I'm on UUSD and I'm on the 15 minute time frame, and I'm gonna be showing you guys how I've implemented this strategy into the real life market to generate profits. Now, as you guys can see, there's a fair overview. However, I'm going to delete all annotations from my chart so I can begin to explain the process step by step. So now I've removed all drawings and annotations of my chart and I've replayed the market. So. As you guys can see, this is simply our Asian session liquidity. How have I found it? Simply during the Asian session, I've seen market consolidating. As you guys can see here, we have equal lows. We have a lot of consolidation here. We have market from this level of resistance where we've got on multiple taps. As you guys can see, this is simply our consolidation, our accumulation. So let me go and label that for you guys with A for accumulation. So. Now we have found our accumulation. Step two is to look for a liquidity sweep. So let me play out the market. I want to look for a liquidity sweep in into a PD array. So what do I see right here? Now I see a lovely, lovely order block right here. As you guys can see, this is very clear. I'm sure any of you would be able to find this. So as you guys can see, market is very, very clearly tapped into this PD array right here. If you were not sure if this is the right order block, now you are, as you can see, market has had a very lovely reaction of it. So if we play the market out a little bit more. Now, if we drop down to the 15 minute, as we want to look for our market structure shift, and let me replay the market to this candle. We've had a very energetic move upwards as our first candle. This is our displacement leg. As you guys can see, market is moving upwards with a lot of momentum. This is showing us market may want to reverse. This is our market structure shift simply. So I'll mark that out for you guys. So as you guys can see, this is our manipulation right here. Let me just mark that as M. We've had our accumulation, liquidity build up, market take it out, tap into a PD array, market structure shift with a lot of volume upwards to show a change in trend. This is our manipulation to where if we do play out the next candle and again you guys can see market leaves a beautiful fair value gap so i will enter off this fair value gap it is as simple as that i'm going to place my limit order stop loss below the swing low as for my take profit opposing liquidity i'm going to target this high right here the asian highs i'm going to target market is most likely to be attracted to liquidity so if you're unsure where market is going simply look where the liquidity is market is like a magnet to liquidity. So let me continue to play out market. And as you guys can see, we do get a very, very beautiful touch right here. As you guys can see if I make this a little bit clearer. There we go, boom. Market taps in with zero drawdown. And now if I do play out fully the trade, you guys can see. Boom, we do hit full take profit. So first example, I showed you guys a bullish trade with an FVG entry. And this one, I'm going to show you a bearish trade with an order block entry. Now, this one's going to be a bit more brief as you guys do understand the concept and the strategy. So simply, I'm going to have a quick overview of you guys. So as you guys know, this is our accumulation right here from 6 p.m. to 3 a.m. Asian session. As you guys can see, markets consolidating very nicely. We're not... We do not have a general trend. Market is simply engineering liquidity. And as we get into London session, we do tap into a higher time frame PD array. If I do go to the two hour, maybe a bit clearer. And there we go. We do have a PD array right here. And then a one hour. There we go. Right there, we do have a PD array. An order block, which market taps into. I'll go back to the 15 minute and replay my chart. Um, so we've got on our accumulation and we've got on our liquidity sweep. This is our step one. Now on our step two, we want to wait for our market structure shift. Now, as you guys can see, I'm waiting for a change in trend, which I don't really get anywhere else right here. 
main one I do get is right here, as you guys can see for yourselves. We do get a huge uh, market does displays very quickly, changing in trend. If I label that our market structure shift. Now, if I do, do drop to the lower time frame, like the three minute, you guys can see market leaves a beautiful order block behind, which I simply set my limit. This trade runs us a nice one to six for about 40 pips. So order block from the body of the candle to the high. Simply set your limits. Let market taps in with zero drawdown, instantly sells off. Take profit out opposing liquidity, stop loss out, swing high. And as simple as that, you're able to bank yourself 6% if you risk 1%. Now, trading is as simple as that, guys. This strategy is so simple, even a beginner could learn it. Guys, ICT says you only need one strategy. If you stick to that, you'll be a profitable trader. You can quit your job. Trading is so overcomplicated on YouTube, so I'm here to simplify it for you guys. That is my job. Make sure you guys check the link in the description if you want to get funded 100% guaranteed where you can begin to implement strategies like this and make live profits. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.